Okay, we're going to create a quick uh, asphalt texture in this tutorial like the one you see here. I've created a swatch using a photograph of some uh, asphalt, uh, which I explained in tutorial one. Uh, I'm going to fill that with some color. Uh, let me create another layer, and I'm going to fill that with color as well. And then what I'm going to do is fill that with noise. Add noise. Uh, monochromatic, that's good. I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, one pixel is good. I'm going to select all, edit, copy. I'm going to add a mask. Go down to that mask, edit, paste. I'm going to turn that back off, come back, go to bevel and emboss. I'm going to go for an outer bevel. I'm going to go for chisel soft. Let me reduce this to say two. Uh, let's see, three. That's good, and that's good. We'll just pump it up just a little bit, not so much. A lot of layers, subtle, subtlety. We're going to duplicate this layer. And then this layer, we're just going to change it a little bit. We will change that to a 1 and leave that at smooth just to get a little bit more variety there. And now we're going to add another layer. And in this layer, we're actually going to paint. We're going to grab our paintbrush. It's not a bad word. Don't be scared. And we're going to grab some stone colors. You'll notice that asphalt is made up of stones embedded in a tar-like substance there, or bitumen, I think it's called. And so we are going to grab the brush, hit F5. And we are going to, I already did the settings here, increase the spacing, size jitter, angle jitter to 100% round this jitter so it's not a round uh, stone, which look a little unnatural. Set the scattering. So it's not all scattered straight line. I added a texture here and the simple reason is sort of break up the outline so it's not too smooth again. Dual brush, same thing. And one brush constrained by the other, overlaid by the other. Breaks up the shape a little bit. That's why you have the white areas. Color dynamic set to 100% so it oscillates or between the two colors. And quickly set the brush size. And I am going to paint. Okay, so there's some big stones embedded in the mix. Let us go quickly here, and we are going to bevel and emboss that as well. We are going to pump that up a little bit more, and there you go. And now we're going to add another layer, and this layer we're going to pick some more colors. Let's pick a little more grayish one, and let's pick uh, oh, something a little bit different there. Let's reduce the brush size, and let's fill in. Okay, so, so we have a little bit more a natural surface we are going to cover I mean copy the layer style we're going to paste the layer style here and we begin to get the little bit of uh, the right effect here we are going to uh, let me see what we are going to do now I'm going to actually select this layer select all that the big stones edit copy I'm going to come and paste that down here because I I wanted to break it up a little bit more so let's turn that on edit paste select all edit copy there's a little bit of science in this and there's also a little bit of artistry so uh, I'm going to paste this here edit paste I am going to uh, let's see let me see what that looks like right now go to filter filter gallery and if you look here, you will see that I have plastic wraps selected. Look at the settings, 18, 9, and 4. You can mess with those. And that's going to give me a little bit of a lighting effect here. I'm going to, let me try that with an overlay effect. Aha, we begin to have the effect. It looks a little too wet, so let's pull it down. 25. Uh, I'm going to pull that up a little bit more. There's still more that needs to be done here, okay? And I'm going to add it. And the reason I'm rushing is because this is the third time I try to record this, but I run out of time each time. Um, trying to squeeze too many details into the five minutes. So, image adjustment. So, at any moment, this will, uh, will go off. But I'm going to try to show you a finished product here. Um, and let's hit the edit paste one more time. So, we paste that layer. Oh, I blew it. I blew it again, I think. Select all, edit copy. This is what I wanted, not the mask. Edit paste. And then overlay again. And pull back on that. And you almost got the asphalt texture. 